Let no situation debar you from obtaining your eternal crown reserved for the blessed people. One of the beauties of being blessed by God is that you'll be completely immune to man's causes. In Numbers 23 verse 8, Numbers 23 verse 8 says, How shall I cause whom God has not caused? And how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? This was the account of the Israelites' journey to the promised land through the wilderness. When King Barak saw the potentials of God's people, he was terrified and so employed prophet Balaam to curse them. But the Israelites were already immune by God, so the curses couldn't stand. Friends, you too can enjoy this divine immunity against any human causes by aligning yourself with this almighty God. You can see this in Deuteronomy 23 verse 5. Deuteronomy 23 verse 5. Can I also tell you that God makes man's seed, which are his children, to possess the gates of his enemies. In Genesis 22 verse 18, Genesis 22 verse 18 says, In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. God was affirmative about his promise for his blessed people. In Genesis 22 verse 17, Genesis 22 verse 17, God speaking, God spoke to Abraham saying, that in blessing I will bless you, and in multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. Knowing, therefore, the benefits of being blessed, there are some certain things you shouldn't do. Let's look at Psalm 1 verse 1. Psalm 1 verse 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. As you can see, the blessed people shouldn't take advice from the wicked. Neither should they have any association with them in any way. Please note that the blessed people neither runs away from those dying in sin. Rather, they make disciples of them by preaching to them and ensuring that they get saved. He also enjoys sweet communion with God's word. The blessed people are fruitful people in every endeavor. Obviously, they are also prosperous people since they are hooked to Jesus, the living water. Friends, God works by principles. If you hearken diligently to his commandments, all his blessings and much more shall overtake you. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, you see the affirmation there by God himself. Also Proverbs 36 verse 11, Proverbs 36 verse 11 also dictates that to as many that are blessed. From time to time, God gives you the opportunity to choose as he is doing now because blessings don't just come without a reason. Deuteronomy 30, 19. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. When you are blessed, heaven will assist you and your enemies shall be troubled. All those that bless you will be blessed and anyone that curses you will be cursed. Hence, ask God to rain down on you his blessings, making you one of his blessed people. That is, if you are not already one. As long as you keep seeking God for who he is and not for what he can do for you, you shall be blessed. I earnestly pray that this series has been a blessing to you, provoking and inspiring you to obey God henceforth, also encouraging you to keep living in the blessings of obedience to God. Thanks for following. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and tap the notification bell to be informed of when new videos will be uploaded. God bless you richly in Jesus' matchless name. Amen.